the birthday of Prince Archie remains shrouded in mystery, with many discrepancies surrounding the event. The official version differs from that of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Let's delve into the details. The first person to show Queen Camilla photographs of the newborn son of Prince Harry and Meghan after his birth in May 2019 was photographer Arthur Edwards. At that time, he was in Germany with Camilla and other members of the royal family. When the photos were released to the press, he was the first to show them to the future queen. Arthur Edwards shared that the Sussexes went to great lengths to conceal Prince Archie's birth from the British press. He, along with other members of the press, was puzzled by the situation. He also stated that Harry and Meghan staged the birth of their son, explaining it as follows. When Prince Archie was born, it was, in my view, a disaster. I understood that we wouldn't be able to photograph him, but everyone still hoped to get some pictures. We were led to believe that Meghan had gone into labor at 2 p.m., although the baby had been born several hours earlier. We were assured that it was a home birth, but it actually took place in a hospital. Everything was staged. After their son's birth, much like Kate had done, Meghan decided to hold a photo shoot at Windsor Castle. At that time, there were various opinions in the press about the announcement of the royal heir's birth. Prince Harry shared his impressions of what happened a few hours after their son was born. We returned to our residence in Frogmore, where we were discreetly escorted by an assistant from the Portland Hospital, and only after Meghan, Harry, and their newborn son were at their residence was it announced that Meghan had gone into labor. Harry stated that the press was unhappy as they had rushed to make an official announcement about the birth. Prince Harry's statement from 2016, where he first confirmed his relationship with Meghan Markle, was removed from the royal family's website. It was reported that the statement, which was directed against the British press for the insults and harassment that Markle began to receive at that time, became unavailable between December 3 and 10, 2023. The message had been on the official royal family website for seven years, but the link has been inactive since the end of last year. The press reached out to Buckingham Palace for comments. In November 2016, Jason Knopf, the former secretary of Kensington Palace, published a statement in which Prince Harry admitted that he was dating the then actress. After the relationship was made public by the press, his girlfriend Meghan Markle was subjected to a wave of insults and harassment according to the statement. Some of these incidents were very public, slander on the front page of a national newspaper, sexism and racism in social media and articles. The statement also mentioned that her mother had to navigate photographers to reach her front door. Reporters and photographers attempted to unlawfully enter her home, leading to police involvement, and bribes were offered to her ex-boyfriend. Prince Harry was concerned about Meghan's safety and deeply disappointed that he couldn't protect her, according to a spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex. Harry wrote in his memoir Spare 2023 that he was advised not to speak out about their relationship, but he did so anyway to protect her. He stated that the attacks on Markle continued even after the statement was published. Harry also mentioned that his father, King Charles, and his brother, Prince William, were furious over his decision because they had never issued statements in defense of their girlfriends or wives when they were harassed. After two years of dating, the couple married on May 19, 2018, in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. In January 2020, they stepped down from their roles as senior members of the royal family. The couple now lives in California with their children. Earlier this year, the Sussexes were demoted on the official Buckingham Palace website, and their profiles were moved to the bottom of the royal webpage listing all members of the royal family. A brief biography of the couple explained their decision to leave royal duties, stating, as announced in January 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior members of the royal family. The couple married at St. George's Chapel in Windsor on May 19, 2018, and have two children, 
Prince Archie of Sussex, and Princess Lilibet of Sussex. Harry and Meghan continue to live separately from the royal family since their move to the U.S. Thus, it appears that Prince Harry's statement, which not only confirmed his relationship with Meghan Markle, but also defended her against racist insults, is no longer published on the royal family's website.